Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Yona and I'm going to guide you in this journey. We are going to learn SQL Server together. This is a course for beginners but also for advanced if they want to refresh SQL Server basics. This course is divided in different videos and I will be posting a video every week so stay tuned and don't miss a lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel so you can support us to make new videos. So today's lesson in SQL Server tutorial for beginners we are going to talk about connecting to SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. What is SQL Server Management Studio and different authentication methods used to connect to SQL Server. To continue with uh, this uh, tutorial you have to have uh, previously installed SQL Server Management Studio. If you haven't installed it yet, you can follow our tutorial, our previous tutorial with the link below where you can uh, see how to download and uh, install SQL Server Management Studio. It's a free version, of course. Uh, me, myself, uh, for the, this tutorial, I'm using Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Studio 18 that was launched in 2019. Okay, so first of all, we are going to open SQL Server Management uh, Studio. Just go in your search bar and uh, you can just type in SQL. And as you can see, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18 app uh, pops up. Just click and uh, we are going to connect to SQL Server Management Studio. First of all, I just wanted to say that uh, SQL Server Management Studio is not SQL Server. They are uh, two different things. SQL Server Management Studio is a client tool and not the server by itself. So, as I was saying, SQL Server Management Studio is a client tool. As you can see it uh, in this uh, image, um, we have the server, SQL Server. This case is 2017, but um, it could be any, any version. And uh, this is the server. And uh, they are the database administrators or clients or developers. They use um, one of the methods to connect to the SQL Server. There's SQL Server Management Studio. That's just the client. Or they can use PowerShell, Transact SQL, and to uh, get the data, to see the data that are already stored in this server. So it's just a tool. They can um, be installed in the same machine or they can be installed, or they can exist even if they are installed into a different uh, machines. So let's continue. This is uh, the window that we get. We have to specify some information in order to log into SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. The information required is server type. Uh, uh, we are going to choose database engine because we want to use database engine. We don't want to use uh, nor analyze services or reporting services or integration services for this lesson. We have to use database engine. Server name. Server name, you can specify the, the name of the server or the IP address where the SQL server is. Uh, but uh, mine uh, for this um, lesson uh, we are going to use uh, local db because my sql server is installed in the same machine as my microsoft sql server management studio so to log in to local uh, you have to type in local db slash ms sql local db and there are two methods or in authentication, uh, SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. If you, you want to use um, Windows authentication, uh, you don't have to write nor username nor password because it is automatically authenticated by your Windows authentication. And if you want to use SQL Server authentication, then you have to provide with login and password. In my case, I'm going to choose uh, Windows Authentication. I don't need the uh, password, just the username that is automatically uh, from uh, Windows Authentication. So just click on Connect and uh, there you can see I'm uh, connected to the database, to the local database. Uh, databases, for the moment there's no database uh, created. We just have the system databases. They have to exist for uh, Microsoft SQL Server to function well. Um, and there are predefined uh, DBs and uh, functions and uh, views uh, that the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio needs to perform well. To create a new query, you just have to go on new query and we can see the new query window. As you can see, here's written master, which means that we are uh, now under the master database. So any query that we perform is going to be affecting the master database. We can change it here. 
if you would want to and there you can see it changes but uh, this is uh, all we had prepared for this lesson in the next lesson we are going to learn about how to create uh, databases uh, so stay tuned and don't miss a lesson thank you for watching this video and uh, please don't uh, forget to like us and subscribe our channel see you in the next lesson bye